Hello everyone, I am Kavin Krishna Prasad from Informatica GCS. This is a part 2 video of data quality in CDGC. In the previous video, we saw about the data quality and the ways to achieve it. In this video, we are going to see about how to create data quality rules in CDGC. The agenda for the today's session is how to create data quality rule occurrence in CDGC and how to create scorecard rule occurrence in CDP. First, let's see how to create data quality rule occurrence in CDGC. The prerequisites to create data quality rule occurrence is data quality option needs to be enabled for the respective catalog sources using which the data element got extracted. You can also use the same configurations which is attached in the slide to run only the data quality rule occurrence that are associated to the catalog source. Now we can see how to create a data quality rule occurrence in CDGC with the live demonstration. First, let's go to the respective catalog source. Now I'm going to create data quality rule occurrence for the data element which is extracted through the catalog source oracle dqro underscore demo. So for this catalog source, we need to enable the data quality options. Click on enable data quality. So here we need to select the runtime environment using which the data quality rule has to be executed. Here we can set the data quality automation option as no since we are going to run only data quality rule occurrence. So this option needs to be enabled if any rule template has to be executed as part of this DQ job. You can configure the remaining parameters based on your requirement. Once the data quality option is enabled, now click on save. Prerequisites are done and now we can create a rule occurrence in data governance and catalog. Go to data governance and catalog. New business rules, data quality rule occurrence, create. Here we'll get an option to tag the rule template with the rule occurrence that you are going to create now. It is an optional and currently I am not going to tag it. Also, if we select sync with rule template, it will automatically inherit the basic configurations from the rule template to here. That is technical rule reference, dimensions, measuring methods and frequencies. Now give the name of rule occurrence. Enter the reference ID. Since it's an optional field, if we haven't provided any reference ID, it will be automatically created. Dimensions can be any of the following. As I said in the previous video, these are only used for an auditing purpose and it doesn't have any functionality behavior. Now let's select the primary data element which is a column on which the DQ rule has to be executed. Click on primary data element. Here select the catalog source. If data quality option is not enabled for the catalog source, you will end up with an error saying that not enabled for data quality checks. Click on next. Here select the table in which the data element is present. Now select the column on which the DQ rule has to be executed. Let me select customer city. Click on finish. So now the primary data element has been associated to the rule occurrence. Next is technical rule reference. Here you can create a rule through the Clara recommendation or you can pick an existing rule which is created in cloud data quality applications. I have already created a simple DQ rule logic to check the null value. Let me use the same. This is the rule logic which I have created in cloud data quality applications where it is going to check the value present in the column is null or not. I'm using the same data quality rule to the rule occurrence. Click on OK. Enter the target and threshold value. I'm not going to select any frequency since I don't want the rule to be executed in periodical basis. The frequencies which are available is daily, weekly and monthly. At last add the stakeholder to the rule occurrence.
click on create now the rule occurrence is created and we can see run now options here this option is to trigger the data quality rule occurrence job manually from data governance and catalog this is same as an ad hoc frequency i am not going to run this rule from here let me create an another dq rule for the different data element Here, let me select a different data element from the same catalog source. Previously, I have selected customer city. Now, let me select customer ID. I am using the same rule which is created in cloud data quality. Enter the target and threshold value. Now add the stakeholder. Now data quality rule occurrence is configured. Click on create. Now, two data quality rule occurrence is created and to execute it, we have two ways. One is by clicking on run now options here manually on the respective rule occurrence. And the next option is executing the DQ job from the catalog source. So, that will run all the standalone rule occurrence created under the catalog source. If you want this to be executed on daily, weekly or monthly basis, please select the appropriate frequency while creating the DQ job. Now, go to metadata command center. Click on run. Since metadata is already extracted into CDGC, so now I am running only the data quality job under data profiling and quality. Click on run. Now job is triggered for the data quality and it will take some time to get complete. The job is completed. Here we can see both the rule occurrences got successfully executed. If the requirement is to execute the individual rule occurrence, then click on run now options at the respective rule occurrence. And if the requirement is to execute all the rule occurrence which are associated with the catalog source, then execute the DQ job through the catalog source. Navigate to data governance and catalog. Refresh the assert. Here we can see the DQ score has been propagated into the rule occurrence. This volume indicates number of rows on which data quality rule has been evaluated. Also, let me go to the another rule occurrence. Refresh. Here also we can see the DQ score has been propagated into the rule occurrence. Now click on primary data element. Data quality. Here we can see the rule occurrence is associated to the column. Also here we can see the total number of rows and the failed rows. The failed rows indicates number of rows on which the DQ evaluation has been failed. Also we will get an option to see the list of failed rows through the preview of failed rows option. If you click on this option it will trigger a job to fetch the list of rows on which the data quality evaluation has been failed. So this is how you can create a data quality rule occurrence in CDGC. Now let's see how to create scorecard rule occurrence in cloud data profiling. To create a scorecard rule occurrence, first the user need to create data profiling task for the object. On top of data profiling task, scorecard rule occurrence can be created. Now we can see how to create scorecard rule occurrence in CDP and display them in CDGC. Navigate to cloud data profiling application. Click on new data profiling task. Enter the name of the data profiling task.
Under the connection, select the connections created in ISAS administrator. Then select the source object for which data profiling has to be created. Source object is nothing but a table. Select the source object. Once the source object is selected, we can see the list of column under the table we have selected. Here we should select the column for which the data profiling has to be executed. Let me select the column. Now navigate to the rules. Here we need to select the DQ rule which is created in cloud data quality. Click on select. Here we can see select on which column the rule has to be executed. Let me select customer ID. Once the rule is associated, next we need to create rule occurrence. For that, click on three dots, scorecard metrics. Here we can see there is no rule occurrence as such created for the data profiling task. To create rule occurrence, click on plus. Select the rule which we have associated previously. Click on next. Enter the name of the rule occurrence. Enter the description. Here enter the target and threshold value. Once the values are entered, click on OK. Now we can see the rule occurrence is created for the data profiling task and the DQ rule has been associated to the rule occurrence. If we see here, view scorecard option is grayed out. To see the scorecard, we need to execute the profiling task. To do so, click on run. A job will be triggered. This will take some time to get complete. Job is completed. Now go back to the data profiling task. Now click on here. Here we can see the data profiling results. Now go to the metrics. Now we can see the view scorecard option is available. Click on that. This will take you to the data governance and catalog tool. So this is called a scorecard. In the scorecard, we can see the primary data element as a customer ID for the rule occurrence. But if we navigate to the rule occurrence, will not able to see the primary data element. This is an expected behavior where there are chances that source object might not be extracted in CDGC. So this task the user has to do manually. Now let me associate a column to the primary data element. Catalog source. Search for the same catalog source name. Click on next. Select the source object. Here, let me select the same primary data element. Once the primary data element is selected, now click on save. Now we can see the primary data element is associated to the rule occurrence. Let me click on the primary data element. Data quality. Here we can see both, both the rule occurrence which is created in CDGC and created from CDP got associated to the column. We can create multiple rule occurrence under the same data profiling task in CDP by adding rules. So this is how we can create scorecard rule occurrence in CDP and associate them to the data element in CDGC. 
In the next video, we'll see how to create data quality rule template also known as DQ automation in CDGC. You can go through the following articles for more information. We would love to hear from you. You can give your feedback or concerns through the link which is displayed on the screen. Thank you. Have a nice day.